right, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the Daily Electric Ian channel. Uh, my name is Ian, and today we're going to be exploring how to correctly wire a ring doorbell switch. Let's just say you may have installed one yesterday and problems happened and you finally figured it out how to make it work. So I'm going to explain to you guys how a ring doorbell works um, and how to correctly wire it. Um, so you don't blow anything up. So first of all, you're gonna have your doorbell And that's gonna have two little wires to attach to and then you're going to have the doorbell chime To so when you press the doorbell, it makes a noise. I don't really know how to draw this it usually just has like some little design on it and that's gonna have like three little connection points or four and then you're gonna have your doorbell transformer itself with the power, the power connections, and then the low voltage connections. So first of all, um, if you connect directly connect the ring doorbell, if you, let's just say in your scenario, if you have the doorbell wires going directly over to the transformer and you don't have anything in between, it's gonna blow up this transformer because this is 120 volts, but then it'll take it down to 18 volts but the doorbell transformer is only good for like a millisecond. So if you hold it on for like three to five seconds or more, it's gonna blow up because it's only meant to ring this doorbell for one second when you click the button. So if you have a direct connection to this transformer, it's gonna blow up. Um, so I'm gonna tell you guys how to not blow it up. So um, I don't know what colors your wires are. Usually they're like, uh, white and red or any any two combinations of colors but in this case I'm just going to use a blue and a red for this diagram basically a red for red and a blue for white um, so first of all to make this work you're going to want to take one of the doorbell wires and it's going to go directly to I'm gonna, just going to make this easier for you guys so I don't confuse you so one wire is going to go directly to the transformer and the second wire is gonna be intercepted at the chime, and you're gonna need a chime for this to work. So if you don't have one, just go buy one from the store. They're like 20 to $40, and then you won't be blowing up $20 transformers every time you attempt this. So one wire is gonna intercept in the middle here, and then another wire is gonna go out to the transformer. So the one on the left, or it doesn't really matter, but um, one of them is gonna go to a connection point right here. And one of those is gonna be called front. And the second one is gonna be called the transformer or trans or tran or whatever it's called. So transformer, I'm trying to spell here. So one's gonna go to the transformer and one's gonna go to the front. So, um, and then there's also a little piece if it comes with, um, it's gonna be a little box gonna have like little two fork terminals so there will also be you can also connect which helps um, there's a little box and it is from ring and basically it, it it's like a wireless transmitter that tells the doorbell how much um, voltage it needs so this is very helpful um, and that is the complete picture right there so one wire goes directly there and then one wire is intercepted there. So if you have a junction box or anything, if you need to um, cut this circuit in half, you can um, you can splice this right here with a wire nut for that wire. And then when you cut the other wire, you land them on the front wire, the front connection point and the transformer connection point. And then the little ring box goes on those same wires and then it doesn't matter which screw that it goes to on this ring box um, and I don't know if this matters on left or right for the in and out I believe it does one should the one going to the transformer should go to the transformer to here and then the front will probably goes to the doorbell so um, that is my best explanation if you are going through trouble if you just blew a transformer hopefully this saves you a lot of trouble and you can find this video and I'm glad that you did because you're already watching it so that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Good luck. Peace.